Since it's impossible to see the motion of molecules, students may benefit from a demonstration that provides direct evidence of their motion. The Crookes radiometer is an example of a heat engine. When exposed to a source of radiant energy, such as light or heat, the veins begin to spin with the white side leading. The radiometer bulb is under partial vacuum. This means there are air molecules inside, but at a very low pressure. The veins are painted black on one side and white on the other. They're mounted on a nearly frictionless spindle so that they can spin easily. Ask students leading questions to have them determine which side of the vein is being heated more quickly or what is happening to the air molecules inside of the bulb. Because the black side of the vein absorbs more radiant energy, the air molecules on that side heat up more quickly. This makes those molecules speed up and creates a difference in pressure. This difference in pressure creates a difference in force that pushes the black side away from the nearby air molecules. Another interesting demonstration is using the radiometer in a darkened classroom. When exposed to the heat of a hairdryer, the results will be the same.